Hey beautiful people, it's Courtney. Welcome back. Today I'm doing some new slimes that I am reviewing from Walmart and Amazon. And before we hop into it, my successful slime shop video course is available. If you hadn't heard about it yet, I will link it down below. But if you're either trying to start a slime shop or looking to grow yours, it is literally everything I have learned with starting my own supplies list, tons of videos and all kinds of good stuff that you won't find here on YouTube, but I'll link it down below and you could check out what it comes with on there. And also today only I'm having a 10% off sale of my slime shop. So you could use code June 10 to get 10% off of everything. So I'll link all of that down below. Same thing, got a new podcast, all that fun stuff. I'll link down below for you guys. But let's start with the Walmart slimes first. So first I got this Centos slime and I had tried a butter slime from them a while ago and I was shocked at how good it was. So I got this metallic one and I was actually expecting it to be like a jiggly slime because I feel like every metallic slime at like Walmart or Target is always super jiggly. Jiggly, but it wasn't it was like a legitimate slime now it was really sticky at first as you could see and I decided to try and add some activator in it activator doesn't always usually work with the store-bought slimes but it worked with this one so so well which makes me think that these Cento slimes really are like so, there's something different in them there's something that makes them more like homemade slimes because this one was great as you could see very pokeable very stretchy it was scented like butterscotch it said and i could only pick up like a little bit of that over the smell of just like a store-bought slime kind of but overall i thought this one was so amazing Next up, I have this brand I've never heard of. It's Zuro Oosh, and it's a glowing slime. Now, this was so weird. Okay, so I poked it, and the top felt jiggly, and the bottom felt so dense, which is kind of why I like paused for a second, because I really wasn't sure what was going on. So I took it out, and it was a jiggly slime, but it like stuck on the inside and was so hard to get out. And you guys, look, it's supposed to be like drippy like this through your hands, according to the package and this one was just so terrible like how does walmart why would they ever choose to sell this on their shelves i don't know no part of this stretched it wasn't it was like super super jiggly but it was so crumbly and stuck to everything it was honestly probably one of the worst store-bought slimes i have ever purchased Next, I found this crazy art, crazy slimy bucket of slime. And this was such a huge bucket for such an amazing deal. Like this was under $10. I almost want to say it was like $5, I think. But it, regardless, even if it was $10, I mean, look at how much slime you get. It's amazing. Now, okay, so the slime itself itself, why did I say itself? I don't know. The slime itself was really really kind of like a thinner texture and a little bit sticky so I did try to activate it and I was kind of hopeful maybe it would activate like the first slime it didn't so much the activator didn't really help but the texture of this slime if it wasn't just a little bit sticky it was so good so stretchy it almost feels exactly like if you buy the crazy art neon glue and make your own slime it has that almost exact same texture so I thought it was really good you do you kind of have to play with it on the table otherwise it is a little bit sticky it's kind of hard to pick up but just for the quantity maybe just it had sat on the shelf for a little too long and made it sticky like this but if it weren't for that it would have been amazing Next up, I got this Compound Kings Color Change Slime. Now, I have tried a lot of the Compound Kings slimes before, never the color changing one. And when I opened the lid, I did notice it had like some brown stuff on it along with like the top of the slime. So maybe it was the color changing activator or something because the slime itself smelled kind of bad like it wasn't scented so it had just a very chemical smell to it i'm definitely thinking it's like the color changing whatever they used to add into it but i didn't find this to be color changing the texture itself was really good it was stretchy you could poke it 
and you know it was really good for a texture besides the smell that was like the worst part i even tried to run my hand under hot water for a few minutes so you'll see in a second my hands look a little wet when i'm playing with it that is why i try to like heat up my hands to see that usually helps change the colors it was only supposed to go from purple to white but i definitely did not see any color changing so here you can see my hands are a little wet but no color change still so i'm not really sure but for the texture i thought this was still a good slime next up we're going into the amazon slimes and this slime you guys i why that's all that's all i have to say is why this one was definitely the worst slime of the video even this tiny container wasn't completely full it was plain it had like no add-ins or anything and it was just like that terrible store-bought putty feeling not even big enough to play with i was just like okay let's just move on to the next slime because i was not a fan of this yeah it wasn't even like that pretty to look at or anything so it didn't even have that going for it so i was like let's go on to the next slime Okay, so if you watched my last Amazon video, I got a trio of these orb slimy slimes and I got three of them for like $10, which I thought was amazing, but I only opened one of them, which I really liked, but I wanted to try the other two for today's video. So this one was supposed to be like a strawberry themed one and the white little things are supposed to be like little fake chocolate chips, even though they don't really look like chocolate chips. They look more like rice or like a grain or something like that. Now, if you watched the last video, you noticed that this was super, super liquidy at first. It was, I think it's because the scent separated from it or whatever they used to activate it was separated. So this time I tried to massage it a lot while it was still in the bag. So you could see it was still kind of wet when I took it out and very glossy. But last time I had like a whole pool of liquid that fell out so it definitely wasn't that definitely massaging it in the bag helped now this one the scent was amazing it smelled like strawberry it was really really a nice scent um however this one was a lot stickier than the last one and i'm not really sure why maybe because i did mix in all of that scent and maybe it reacted with it but as you could see the more i played with it the stickier it got so it was kind of weird but besides that like i loved the first one in the last video and this one started out nice but just i don't know then it just kind of fell flat for me but yeah, I still think they're worth a try though because the last one was really good. And this was the last slime that came in the trio. This was like a chocolate one. The one in the last video was a mint chocolate one. And so this one is similar to the last one where it had the little brown fake chocolate chips in it. And you could see right here how liquidy it is. There's like a whole separation of liquid. Even the color on this one kind of separated. So I did still try to mix this together. I didn't do it as much as the strawberry one because I wanted to see if maybe that would help it not be so sticky if I just left some of the liquid in the bag. And that actually seemed to work. As you can see here, I'm working in some of, I'm gonna call it the scent because I think it's the scent that is super separated and liquid. Um, but this one, again, it smelled really good and this one was actually a lot better than the strawberry. It was kind of like the texture of the first one. So I was very happy with this one. They also come with a whole huge bag of little extras. I only use like half the bag in this. So I thought that was really great. And this one was a lot less sticky, but as you could see, it's honestly so stretchy, so spreadable. I think these, besides the strawberry, which was sticky, this was a really, really good store-bought slime. So overall, I would definitely give it a chance. When you get three this size for like $10, I think it's really good. So I was impressed. This slime and the Centos were two of my favorites in this video. 
So let me know which slime was your favorite. I would love to know in the comments down below, but also let me know if you tried this out. Maybe I just got a bad batch of this one where all the liquid separated, or maybe it's a common thing. I don't really know. So definitely, I would love to hear your thoughts if you've tried this out yourself. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I do have a new podcast if you wanna give it a listen, if you want something else to keep you busy during the week. I would greatly appreciate it if you check it out. We post new podcasts every Wednesday. Also got my vlog channel and my slime shops are on sale. Just got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff to, a lot of content out there. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.